Welcome to Mystery Lenovo Legion and Intel Box unboxing. What's in it? What's inside it? If you're watching this on YouTube, the title may well give that away, but we're going to have some fun with it. So, let's open this thing. How is the best way of doing that? Well, first of all, we need a knife. I really hope it's not hot sauce. I don't want another like Legion, not the hot sauce. It was Legion's fault with the spicy wings. No! That didn't start the fire. No! Box of snakes. Why would they send me snakes? There's still more tape. Oh, there is. Well, those of you who guessed there's a box inside here, because there is, in fact, another box inside the box. I was trying to think they're like, how do, I, how do I make opening this box sexy? Cue the jazz. There, is, there are two boxes. I'm pretty sure this box is the main event box. It's a Lenovo Legion box! It's a very, like, thin box. Okay, one box down. I'm liking all the shiny Lenovo. Intel puzzle. Whatever you do, Lionheart, don't do a Linus and drop it. Right, here we go. That's the way up with the text. Legion! It's a very pretty box. I think it is... A piece of cloth! I think it is... Oh, it's another bag. It's a bag within a box! Ah! It is, as some of you may have guessed, Legion's latest and greatest gaming laptop. The Legion 7i. Oh my. And of course, it's powered by an absolute stonking Intel i9-12900HX processor, which is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, now, yeah, as some of you are already saying, look how slimline that is. This is a top-of-the-range gaming laptop with an incredibly thin profile. Look at that. It is so thin. It is so... I mean, it, it, it's got some weight to it, but compared to some stonking huge laptops that I've owned in the past and I've seen in the past, this is insanely light. What we're going to do is we're going to open it up. I'm going to talk through some of the features. But yeah, first off, talking about battery life, this has a 99 watt hour battery. I think technically 99.99 watt hour battery, which is the largest uh, size battery you can legally have in a laptop to still take on the plane. So with this, you can take it anywhere. Now, hopefully you guys can see, this is all um, uh, CNC machined on the edge. So it's a really nice finished, I think it's an aluminium and magnesium um, shell and case for it. I'm pretty sure it's all being like machined, like the base of it is all being machined out of one solid piece. So it's absolutely solid. I mean, even with the lid like down, there is zero flex. So this is the, the their latest and greatest, their Gen 7 model of their laptop series. And I have actually seen one of their Gen 6s in the wild uh, before. And already I can see that they've radically changed the design um, on the externals, the, the IO all around it. You've got way more venting on the bottom now got more thunderbolts ports on the sides the back has been recessed in 
so it's actually easier to access your ports at the back. I feel like there's more, just more vents as well. Just more raw power. Um, I do know that it's got an improved hinge design as well for this year's model, which allows you to open it with one finger. Skills. We'll read that later. Intel i9 badge. We've got the GeForce RTX. And above that, we've got a QR code for support. Also got some uh, a little sticker overlay for your various functions. You've got balance, you've got performance, and you've got quiet. Oh, wow. Oh, hang on. I need a moment. Oh, I knew this was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. So this is their True Strike keyboard, which features multi-layer kind of switch activity. Um, actuation, specifically on the WASD keys, meaning that if you kind of soft press, say W, you'll start walking forward. Whereas if you fully press it, you'll start running. So you kind of got that multi-layer key command and hotkey built right into the keyboard. Uh, also, apparently there's a fingerprint scanner on the power button, which is again right at the top there. You've got a full HD webcam as well. It features the Intel i9 12900HX processor, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and an RTX 3080 Ti with TGP, total graphics power, of 100, 175 watts, which is important because a lot of mobile graphics cards, graphics chips, and a lot of other um, competitors out there only tend to put in about 150 watts of total graphics power for the like for their top end cards because if you add in more power it gets hotter and then you end up um with like throttling and issues like that not a problem for legion because they've increased their cooling ca uh, capacity with all their laptops with their cold front 4.0 technology so this has a huge vapor chamber that essentially runs the whole back of the laptop with loads of heat pipes cooling that enables them to push even more power than the vast majority of their competitors for the 3080 uh, Ti in here. So this means that this will be one of, if not the, especially for, it's a 16 inch as well, one of the most powerful gaming laptops in this form factor because they've been able to cool it efficiently and push more power to the card. Oh, they should say there's some, some more interesting stuff about the, the i9 in it which is, I believe, I'm pretty sure, like, new with the 12th gen, which is that you now have P cores and E cores. Now, some of you might be like, what's a, what is a P and an E core? You've got your performance cores, and you've got your efficiency cores. The performance cores are your standard cores that, when you look at a, a processor in the past, and it said it's got 10 cores, those are performance cores, essentially. What they've added in new are the um, efficiency cores, which are dedicated cores for multitasking. Uh, and they also mean that when you're when you're gaming or you're running something that requires the performance cores, the those multitasking cores can work in the background without affecting the direct performance of those performance cores. And Intel use a whole lot of very clever technology. I think it's called their like their thread director technology basically helps balance the the demand of your applications versus which cores are best for that situation. So you can, you know, be gaming away and still having some multitasking going on in the background being handled by those separate cores. So that means that this has a total of 16 cores, eight performance, eight efficiency cores, but it's got a total of 24 threads, eight threads on the E cores and 16 threads from the P cores. Insane amount of like potential performance here. I cannot wait to try editing some videos on this because this should absolutely annihilate like anything I throw at it. So yeah, so this is a 16 inch laptop as well. So that means it's running a 16 um, by 10 aspect ratio. And I believe Legion are the, the world's first to bring a 16 inch 2560 by 1600 resolution, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. But they were the world's first to do that in a gaming laptop. I know this comes in two flavors. This model is the 165 hertz panel. There is also a panel if you're more into your esports or if you play 
high FPS games, first person shooters, things like that, and you want something that gives you even more refresh rate, there is a variable refresh rate version available that goes from 165 hertz to 240. I think this has also got a one terabyte SSD uh, in it as well. But yeah, I just want to take another look kind of around the laptop with you guys. Check out the, uh, the IO. So we've got two um, Type-C Thunderbolt compatible ports here. So not only are they lightning fast for data, but they'll also support um, uh, external display, I believe up to 4K with that. Then on the rear IO, we've got the, well, I think this is Legion's proprietary power. I've seen it on, on some of their other stuff and I think it's on their monitors as well that I've got for my main setup. They all use this same kind of power connector, which is quite nice. I think I'm pretty sure it's reversible as well. Then we've got some um, Type A 3.1 USB ports. We've got HDMI out. We've got um, a USB C out the back as well. And we've also got Ethernet. And I also just say, Legion, thank you so, so much for putting the power at the back of your laptops. Does it have a CD drive? What is a CD drive? <laughs> I don't think we've seen one of those for quite some time. Uh, and then over on this side, we've got a headphone jack. We've got a um, a camera privacy switch, so you can actually disable the webcam completely just by a switch. And then you've also got another Type-C uh, port out. Lovely to see so much Type-C adoption here. Um, should also say this can be charged and powered, although you wouldn't be able to do game like high intensity game. You probably have to like lower some settings and lower like the threshold down but this can be powered and charged by type c i believe it supports up to 135 watt type c charging i do know though that it supports super fast charging off its mains power adapter 70 percent battery from zero in 30 minutes they're pretty darn fast anyway shall we uh shall we power it on let there be light and of course, fully RGB keyboard. Controllable by their brand new and updated Legion Spectrum software. And obviously it's all incredibly well known. More RGB, more performance. <laughs> Hardware often is only as good as the software supporting it. And it looks like Legion have put a lot of effort and a lot of work into developing software that doesn't hinder the hardware, but rather enhances it and supports it really well. Okay, so we're taking a good look at the laptop, all its various features uh, that it has on offer. Let's wrap this up by taking a look at how it performs by loading up Total War Warhammer 3 and running its battle benchmark.
you guys let me know. Do you think this lives up to core branding and kind of mission statement that that Legion have launched with their with their gear, which is stylish on the outside and savage inside? Now, from the spec, an i9 Intel 12900HX and an RTX 3080 Ti. That's definitely savage inside. Do you guys think it's stylish on the outside? I think it is. I think it's it's very stylish. So that is where we're going to wrap up this um this first look of this absolute beast of a machine. But again, a huge, 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 huge thanks to Legion and Intel for sending me this absolute beast of a laptop. Um, this is going to be my new mobile gaming system. We'll probably try and do some mobile streams from it. Um, it'll it'll one day power the cooking streams as well <laughs> with that insane Wi-Fi six speeds as well. Will will be ridiculous. But it's actually even pushing out cool air already out of the fans. That's that's impressive. But yeah, absolute powerhouse. So yeah, thanks again to Legion and Intel for sending me the Legion 7i laptop with the 12th gen Intel Core i9 processor. Wonderful birthday present, wonderful surprise. Great to unbox live in front of everyone uh, today. And if you've been watching the video edit, uh, links are in the description where you can check out the full uh, Legion 7i lineup, all their tech, um, and all the various range of laptops that are now available. Till the next one. Take care and ciao for now.